Okay, let's talk about uh, what's going on here. We have 2 over the square root of 3, and you can see that this is not okay the way this is written. So I'm going to talk about why it's not okay and how to fix. So this is a really important um, math concept, especially if, uh, for those of you out there learning algebra. Okay, uh, again, this is not good. Well, we're going to fix it right up. So if you just stick with me for uh, this quick video, you'll see exactly, you know, how to resolve a situation like this. But before we get going, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also been a high school math teacher and over many, many years have constructed many, many complete comprehensive online math courses. If you want to check out my full math learning uh, uh, program, uh, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video. Also, I have math notes, uh, pre-algebra, algebra, one, geometry, algebra two, trig, etc. So if you want to pick up a set of notes, uh, you can see the links in the description or beneath this video. All right, so let's get to this uh, problem. And why is this problem? Okay, so here we have two over the square root of three. Well, this is uh, not... A, an appropriate way to have this expression, this fraction. And the main uh, reason why is this square root of 3 is something called an irrational number. Okay, So square root of 3, if I go on my calculator, I go, okay, square root of 3, my calculator is going to spit out this decimal. Da -da 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 and on your calculator window, it's going to like just stop right there. Okay, But technically, whoops, technically, the square root of 3, the decimal goes on infinitely, all right? So um, the definition of an irrational number is a decimal that doesn't have any repeating pattern and doesn't terminate. It's just like goes forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. So it's, you know, we, we, we can't really write out the decimal, okay? So things like pi is an irrational number, okay? That's approximately equal to 3.14, da 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 but it doesn't repeat, okay, the digits just are like random, they don't repeat and they don't terminate. So I can't really get to the end of this number, all right? I'd have to go infinitely out to see the very, very last digit of this number. So we, we knowing that, you can't really divide up a number, all right? It's like saying to ourselves, let's think about it, right? If I had like a pizza, and I said, hey, let's divide this pizza up by this number that doesn't stop or doesn't repeat, doesn't, you know, we were like, well, how do I, you know, how do I do that? Like, you know, because I won't know exactly really the value of this, okay? So dividing by an irrational number, when we're trying to divide something up by an irrational number, conceptually it doesn't make sense. So this is why we do not like to write an expression like this, um, where we have in the denominator a uh, square root, okay, an irrational number. So um, now, how do we fix this up? Well, this can be your answer, okay? We could, you can definitely come up with, a, you know, be doing some kind of formula or equation, and we can get this as our answer. The problem is we just don't want to leave it like this. So we need to do something called rationalize. Rationalize, rationalize the denominator, okay? So that's what we're going to be doing here because this little radical, okay, this is a square root, but it's also what we call a radical. All right, so what we're going to do is just multiply this whole thing by 1. We're going to multiply it by 1. So let me ask you this. Any number times 1 is what? It's just a number, right? So anything times 1 is just itself, right? That's an identity, a multiplicative identity. So we're going to take this thing and we're going to multiply it by 1. Now you're, you're, you know, there's a catch here, right? Not just any old one. We're going to multiply it by this one. Okay, square root of 3 divided by the square root of 3. Okay, this right here is 1. Okay, if I said anything divided by any or itself, any, anything you want divided by itself is always going to be what? 1, right? Okay, so... Now that we kind of walk that through, this is the way I kind of like to teach this so people kind of remember what's going on. And we're not breaking this. We're not rewriting this. Uh, we're just multiplying it by a fancy one. But now that I have this nice fancy one here, here's what happens. Okay, remember when we multiply fractions, we go this way. So 2 times the square root of 3 is 2 square root of 3. 
And then the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is equal to what? That's equal to 3, right? So hopefully you know that the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is technically the square root of 3 times 3. Okay, these are properties of radicals and square roots that you should know. And then uh, this is uh, the square root of 3 times 3 is effectively the square root of 9, which of course is 3 positive and negative, but you can write it like this. So we want to go from here to here. This is fine because we're not dividing by an irrational number. So we want to put that radical up in the numerator. Okay, and this is not trivial. If you were in my algebra class and you gave this to me, I would be taking some points off and you would have a sad face because you didn't get 100% on your quiz or test, all right? So if you uh, obviously rationalized, then you would be ecstatic and you'd be like, oh man, this is so easy, I get it, da 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 da, right? So gotta know how to rationalize, it's not, a, it's not optional, okay? Um, this is uh, part of resolving, you know, um, you know, particular expressions when you're working with square roots. Okay. All right. So hopefully you found this little tutorial, little reminder um, helpful. And um, again, if you need more math help, uh, you want to check out my full math program. Uh, again, you'll find the link in the description of this video. And if you need a, a good pair of uh, math notes, you'll find my math notes uh, beneath as well. And uh, also, definitely uh, hope you can become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. I already have hundreds and hundreds of videos that can help you out. And I'm posting stuff all the time. And if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics and adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.